Hello everyone, this is uh, Tyler back again with Thrift Store Finds. You may have seen my other video with the uh, Thrift Store Lego bag that I got. This video is pretty much just going to be all video games that I find at the thrift stores that I hit up regularly about two or three times a week. So this is pretty much just the highlight video. Um, I don't get all these good deals back to back every single day. This is pretty much the highlights from the months of uh, November and December. But this just goes to show that deals are still out there if you know what to look for. Local thrift stores, Goodwills, you know, pawn shops, things like that. Deals are still out there to be had if you if you keep looking and uh, don't give up and just really have a keen eye and always uh, ask associates what's in the back or what's underneath a certain thing and just uh, put forth the extra effort to be friendly to the owners because you never know what kind of deal they'll give you. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, here's some finds. So here's the first thrift store. Right underneath is where they usually keep the games. Right in that little tub you see that Game Boy Advance game. And uh, here's the bucket that I asked them to bring out. This store sort of doesn't really like the price to sell. I mean, like you can see a lot of there, $6, $8. Those would be good for like a normal buyer or someone looking for a, a good deal on some like, you know, Mario Kart Super Circuit, things like that. But that's the deal I got right there that um, R4 chip pretty much plays any DS game. Like you see SNES games priced, you know, $20, $15, which I really hate to see at their stores when they price up like that, considering that they get the stuff for free. Uh, you know, but still some decent deals if someone's just looking to expand their collection or get some good games. Uh, another thrift store, a little bit close to my house. Uh, I guess they had a lot of stuff donated right before Christmas. There's a lot of good Legos right there. And then some NES games, $10 for Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. I mean, that's a, that's a good deal for someone to play, but not really for me. So I just kind of kept looking, but just goes to show that those games are still out there. Of course, you, know, you see Mario every day, but... You know, just got to look in the little uh, little basket right there and always look on the shelves, every single shelf, in the back of the shelves, in those carts like that, uh, stuff can be hiding. And just like that, that was at the bottom of the bucket at a different day I came in. Three ninety nine dollars enrolled, um, the event battery was dead, but that's still a good deal. The Mario Kart 7 3DS, $1.99, can't beat that. But always look in the, always look in the tubs because you kind of never know when they restock. I guess I went in probably two weeks after that first video. And then this was like another day right here. They just get a Game Boy Advance SP price at $40. I just don't understand. Uh, then Goodwill right here. Always looking for cords at Goodwill. Uh, always looking for like spare controllers. Sometimes they'll have good uh, GameCube controllers, PST controllers, things like that for you know, $2.99. Because they can't test them in the store. So they'll price them really cheap. But you always see the third party Mad Cats and Pelican games and things like that. Controllers. And uh, surprisingly, this Goodwill has some pretty good stuff when it comes to video games. Not a lot of them do anymore, uh, especially the old stuff. It's hard to find at Goodwills. You know, you always see the, you know, a single Wii nunchuck or, of course, the Wii fitness board like you saw in this one. You always see those. But you never see, you know, like really good PS1 stuff or N64 stuff or anything like that. I guess someone's hoarding a retro. A uh, different thrift store. I guess, no, this was another Goodwill. Um, this was their video game section. A pretty good selection right here. It's mostly DVDs and CDs. And right there on top, you know, Skate 3, great game. I only have a PS3, but um, for $1.99, you can take that to GameStop and get like $6 cash. So I always pick those up, you know, all throughout the month whenever I can find, you know, Mortal Kombat or Grand Theft Auto 5, things like that. Um, just trade those on up, trade them to other people, get better deals. Uh, then this one was the same Goodwill. Uh, right here was a good game, and then I found a really, really good game right here. Look at that. At a Goodwill. And I don't think that's factory sealed. I ended up opening it just to check, but it was like kind of weirdly sealed, like someone had done it themselves, or maybe like a movie trading company. So I, I, I was 100% sure it wasn't factory sealed, or I wouldn't have opened it. But uh, I was surprised no one snagged that. It was about 30 minutes after they opened, and uh, I was really glad I picked that one up. Uh, Gauntlet Dark Legacy. So that's always a great game. Then just some sports games for PS2. And then here's that gauntlet again. Look at that. Gotta be one of the cleanest GameCube games I've ever found. Uh, you know, I just can't pass that up any day right there. Paid, uh, I guess it was a little over $4, maybe $5 for that game. So a classic game, plays just fine. And there's your sold listings on eBay all day long. So it's like I you know, could multiply my money if I wanted to, but it's a great game to play. And just some plushes I found. I figured it was worth taking the video. Someone might like those at some point. It was a good deal for that whole bucket, but I didn't really need it. But that's only Goodwill. And then here's a thrift store a little bit close to my house again. I'm really good friends with the manager. 
and she always tells me to come back and look for video games and I guess they just stocked up that morning and bam look at right those four right there in the front and I asked her how much and she said since they're not marked a dollar each so of course I picked all those up um, I think two of them had manuals but I sold Mario Kart that day for 25 on an offer up so great little package you know great to be friends with the owners uh, this is kind of more of a downtown area thrift store. They sometimes have good stuff, lots of clothes in this thrift store, so they have a very small video game selection. You know, some decent stuff, but right there, you hardly ever see those in television games. So I took those out real quick and uh, pulled up eBay on my phone and, you know, picked out some decent ones. I'm not a big in television collector or, you know, Atari 2600 person, but I know there's some value in some of those games. A lot of them, you know, priced it at 95 cents a piece. A lot of them are only worth maybe two or three dollars but I picked out the gems and I'll show you here in a second which ones I got but you know, for any intelligent type deal it's a great great deal so I'll probably just put those in a big bundle on eBay you know get my money back for other deals but I can't pass them up for 95 cents a piece so just some other prices I know some of those are in boxes but even loose they can you know, hold their hold their value and that one at the top is box only so that one in the middle is the one I was looking at and then uh, back to Goodwill again no, this is that same thrift store with the television games, a different day. But they had those a uh, good deal on uh, the GameCube controllers. Don't really need those controllers, but it's great to see those. I love when they put not tested and bring the price down just because they think they won't work. But they you know, hardly, ever, hardly ever break. It's a controller right there. We need it, but it's good for GameStop cash. Quick cash at GameStop down the road. So I like seeing uh, big bundles of cords and controllers here, especially it's probably about noon. And uh, here's a local pawn shop. Uh, every game in there was two dollars. A lot of sports games, a lot of top damage games, uh, some PS3 which I don't even have. But right there in that top left corner, just sitting there waiting for me. Great game. I remember playing that the arcade version uh, when I was a kid, and that's great to see. Just a cardboard long box for PS1. So there's the uh, sold versions for that one on eBay. So it's a great game to play. Um, just a great game to have. Alrighty, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, just remember that deals are always out there. Be nice to people. Always look underneath bins. Always look kind of behind the shelves, just in places that people miss. Show up early. Always tell people uh, if you can be there when the doors open, just so you are the first one to see everything. Um, you know, I guess if you like this video, give me a like. <laughs> I'd like to get a, over 100 views on an original video. That'd be pretty cool. But. Uh, Alrighty, I guess uh, stay hunting out there and find good deals.